108 lives lost in Puttingal Temple tragedy and a week later, blame game continues. Times now has accessed letters written by District Police Chief to the District Administration before the event. In the letter, police lobbied for the event despite refusal by the administration. Times now has also accessed the letter written by the DGP to the additional Chief Secretary after the tragedy. In the letter, the police has blamed the district authorities, claiming that they delayed the decision that led to inaction. Fire which claimed the lives of over 100 people in Kollam and the blame game over the tragedy continues. Times Now has accessed letters of the district police chief from before the tragedy, which shows how police pushed for permission for display of competitive fireworks. There were three letters actually been written. The first letter was on April 4th uh, to the collector and the next letter was on the April 6th. Now on April 8th, the district magistrate has clearly denied permission to conduct the festival. Now the question is why did the police chief, I mean the police commissioner go on writing the third letter on April 9th even after denying the permission? And after the tragedy, the state top cop shifting the blame on the bureaucracy, citing delay in bureaucratic decision for lack of action. Letter that's been written uh, by the DGP uh, to the chief secretary on the 13th of this month, on the 13th of this month, in which he actually states that the fireworks was on 9th and the decision not to permit was issued on the 8th. So he says that this is one of the main reasons for the difficulty in implement implementation of such a decision. Okay, and one of the main factors he, he cites in this is the highly inadequate manpower and the manpower uh, of the police, which is being used without any rest continuously. Kerala police ready with excuses, but who will be held accountable for the 108 deaths? Bureau report, Times Now.